You've been hearing a lot about the federal deficit lately. And a lot about cutting spending on programs like federally funded science and engineering research. Federal spending on R&D accounts for less than 5% of the budget. While innovation accounts for over 60% of economic growth. That's an investment we can't afford to lose. But with the failure of the Congressional Super Committee, Massive spending cuts now threaten federally funded R&D. Cuts that will cripple long-term science and engineering for the next 10 years. For over 50 years, the United States' strong investment in science and engineering has brought us technologies like lasers, cellular telephones, the internet, GPS, integrated circuits, and genomics. Technologies that have created millions of American jobs and vastly improved the quality of life. This investment has kept America at the top of the global economy. That is why China has increased its investment in R&D by over 150% since 1997. Without a strong federal commitment to science and engineering, our technology and our economy will be left in the dust. Science and engineering research gives something else to the American economy. You. American scientists and engineers are in high demand. In fact, employment among scientists and engineers in doctorates is over 98%. Even among those who had their doctorates for two years or less. That's because science and engineering graduates are trained to develop independent strategies. Challenge ideology. Communicate. Collaborate. And work hard. You represent a unique investment in a modern American workforce. Adaptable. Experience. And ready to innovate. My group studies intracranial pressure, which has implications for anyone who is currently suffering from or potentially suffers from a brain injury. I use evolutionary computing to improve mortality rates in hospital intensive care units. I study how the brain makes decisions under uncertainty. I'm working on using biomaterials to repair blood vessels. I use brain imaging techniques in order to better understand the mechanisms behind learning and memory processes. I study electrons in two dimensions, and two-dimensional systems are a promising paradigm for a new way of doing computation. I study the molecular mechanisms of autism. I study the Y chromosome in fruit flies. I'm researching how rapidly urbanizing cities can better manage their water resources. Our country is facing serious challenges. But science and engineering can be part of the solution. You can be part of the solution. I know you're busy. I know you've got papers to grade. Manuscripts to write. Experiments to run. And an advisor looking over your shoulder. But we need your help. And time is short. Please take a few minutes. Go to www.standwithscience.org. And read the letter. Sign your name. And add your voice before it's too late. <laughs>